I have a question for you. Do you think that you can use cow poo as a compass? Can you use it to navigate by? And I promise today isn't April the 1st, it's not an April Fool's video. Um, now, I'm a navigation instructor and I teach courses from the absolute basic right up to the highest level of land navigation. Now, so when somebody tells me about a new type of natural compass, which I haven't heard about before, then I actually like to test it out for myself, you know, just to see if it works. Now, I had a comment from Dave on one of my other videos, and he said that when he was in the army, he was taught to use cow poo as a compass. So, I thought I'd heard of most types of natural navigation, you know, tree bark and the way trees' roots grow and branches grow, and the way sand and snow falls off mounds and what have you, but I'd not actually heard of this particular one before. So, in the name of science, <laughs> and to further my own navigation education, I thought I'd check it out. So, I'm not, I'm not sure if Dave, if this is actually BS or it's actually true, but the theory being, according to Dave, is as the sun rises and moves around the sky in the south, then the south side of the cowpat would become harder and so you can tell which way south and north just by looking at uh, a cow pat. <laughs> Fair enough. Now even though I'm not quite sure you know how somebody would actually arrive at this theory, did somebody go and pat one? <laughs> I don't know, bear with me on this one. Now if you notice behind me I have my specially placed cows and I'm actually sat here waiting for one of them to deposit a, uh, a natural compass on the ground. Is that the best way of putting it? So, I'll just sit here. I actually hope nobody comes up and asks me what I'm videoing. I'm actually videoing this herd of cattle behind me. Uh, <laughs> and I'm waiting for them to uh, do what cows do naturally. So I'm just going to sit here for a while and ho hopefully um, there'll be some action. Is that the best way of putting it? <laughs> it took me years to get qualified to teach this sort of stuff, you know, and look what I end up doing. <laughs> I'm sat in a field in the middle of nowhere, waiting for a cow to um, do its business. So I'll come back to you when we've got the money shot. <laughs> so we have the shot that we were hoping for. Now what I can't do is I can't just go and approach those cattle now if you don't know, they're different from your normal milk cows, which are quite timid and used to people. These are actually belted galways. Um, there's not many cows that would survive in this sort of upland area throughout the winter. Um, they're not timid. <laughs> they're basically, they're semi-wild and they're not used to people. So uh, it's not a good idea just to approach them. So now they've made their deposit, I just need to sit and wait until they disappear off into the distance. I'll, I'll walk around and uh, we'll, see, we'll see how long it's going to take them. Well, this isn't very good. It looks like they've settled in. They'll move on within half an hour or so. I'll just have to sit and wait. Can you, just as a point, can you see this mark on the floor? And hopefully you can see it on your screen. This dark patch here. There was a storm here last night. Um, and if you haven't seen one before, this is a lightning strike. This is where the lightning hit the floor. And the ground is actually still warm. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully it, there's no more thunder and lightning today. But there you go. Come on, cows, move. <laughs> right, whilst we're uh, waiting for them to move, I've got some extra equipment in my rucksack that I don't normally carry. I brought it specially today. Um, I'll go and get that ready. <laughs> Health and safety. So here is our possible natural compass. I'll geolocate this area to a one meter square. So it's a 10 meter grid reference, so I'll be able to find it. I'll leave it and come back in three days time and see what's happened. See if it's actually firmed up as uh, Dave promised me that it would.
I've returned now, today's Friday, the last time I was here was on Monday, and I actually watched this uh, deposit being made. So it's been here for four days. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. That looks exactly the same. <laughs> but that's a very subjective assessment. Let's do a more objective test. So what I'll do is I've got some limestone pebbles that I got out of the uh, stream up the hill there. And I'm going to select a couple that are the approximately the same size and I'll drop them from the same height. And if one side of the pat is firmer than the other, it won't sink as far. Here we go, Dave. Let's do an ass Mind you, it's very windy. I hope I can get this. That didn't even enter. Here we go, next one. Nope. Another two. Right on the edge. Nope, bounced off. Bounced off. <laughs> so, back to the original question. Can you use cow poo as a compass, as a means of navigation? Um, the best I can say is I remain to be convinced. I'm not saying it doesn't work if it was a nice hot country, but this is England, come on. <laughs> it gets hot for a one week a year, so <laughs> in, in warm countries it may work. In England, as I said, I'm not sure. I remain to be convinced, you know, we'll, we'll see. Having said that, this wasn't a complete loss. When I was here on Monday, waiting for the cows to move, because they seemed to take ages just before they uh, shot off, um, I discovered something, and this isn't a wind-up. You will not see this on any other website, any other video, and I've just checked on my mobile phone, and it's not on Historic England website. I discovered something. I'll show you. You'll be the first people to see it. Can you see this? This, as I said, is not on any historic website. This is a hut circle. This is a Bronze Age hut circle, guaranteed. Now you can see the shape here, but unusually, can you see behind? Hang on, I'll bring the camera over so you can see. So behind the hut circle, we have another circle here. So maybe this was the hut circle and that was an animal enclosure. Bronze Age, almost certainly. Look at these stones here. This is not natural. If you look, natural limestone has a certain way of piling itself up. So these have been placed here and these are not quarried stones. These are natural stones. They've just been picked up and put there. Look at this. Hopefully you can see it. These stones are not natural. They shouldn't be there. Somebody has placed them in a circle. And there's more over there. So this is maybe a hut circle, maybe an animal enclosure. So what I'm going to do is I'll geolocate this to within one meter. I'll take some photographs now and I'm going to send it off to Historic England and see what they say. Anyway, <laughs> just something interesting at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.